This video will show you how to create both a bar graph and a pie chart in Excel. Recall that bar graphs and pie charts display frequencies or relative frequencies of categorical data. To begin, collect all of your data in a single column. In this case, our data is in column A. Next, identify all of the different categories your data contains. Here we have three different categories, blue, red, and yellow. Type these category titles in a separate column. The next step is to use the COUNTIF function to count the frequency of each category. Now select the cell next to your first category and type an equal sign followed by the words COUNTIF. Open a set of parentheses. The COUNTIF function has two arguments. The first argument is the column in which your data is stored. In this case, our data is stored in column A. Next, we'll type a comma. The second argument is the cell that contains the word that you want to match. In this case, we want to match the word blue, which is contained in cell C1. Now we can close the parentheses and hit enter. Now Excel allows us to copy the function to each of the remaining cells by clicking on the cell we just wrote the formula in, putting our cursor over the bottom right corner, and dragging the box down to the remaining cells where we want the formula. So now we see we have a frequency of 5 blue, 3 red, and 2 yellow. We need to highlight the data used to create the graph. In order to do this, click the top left cell and drag down to the bottom right cell. To access the graphs, click on Insert in the menu at the top. In the section titled Charts, the option in the top left corner allows us to create a bar graph. So we can click on this and click on the first option for the bar graph. The title of the bar graph can be changed by clicking in this box at the top where it says Chart Title, and we can put in whatever we want our title to be. Similarly, to create a pie chart, we need to go and reselect our data, go back up to Insert, and this time we'll click on the pie chart option in the bottom left corner. Once again, we can change the title of our pie chart, much in the same way we changed the title of our bar graph.